Hi everyone, my name is Phoebe from the SMILE program at Oregon State University. I hope you had fun making gel beads because today we're going to be talking about what they're used for and why they're important. Come follow me into the office. So gels are made from polymers, and polymers are long chains of repeating molecules. So if I had this paper clip for instance, a polymer would be like a long chain of paper clips, like this one right here. Polymers make up a lot of things around us, such as this plastic water bottle, silly putty, and even packing peanuts. But how do polymers become gels? So a gel is formed when a polymer becomes cross-linked. Cross-linking means that you connect two polymers to become one. So if we had our two paper clips, for example, cross-linking them would be taking two chains of paper clips, connecting them, and then tangling them. The polymer that you guys are using for this experiment is called sodium alginate. Sodium alginate is actually extracted from seaweed. It's actually used as a thickener like milkshakes from McDonald's. The beads form immediately when it comes in contact with a calcium chloride solution. When drops of sodium alginate are pipetted into the calcium chloride solution, the calcium forces the alginate to cross-link and trap water around the entire bead. This process is called diffusion. Diffusion is the movement of water from an area of high concentration to low concentration. Calcium diffuses through the alginate on the outside of the bead and forces the alginate to cross-link. Each of these beads are 98% water. If you'd like to see a video to see how each solution is made, check out this link below. Gel beads are being used in scientific research studies done today. For example, Dr. Mary Zielinski from the Oregon National Primate Research Center in Beaverton, Oregon, is doing research in monkeys that may also someday help in conservation efforts of increasing endangered animal species, like the giant pandas. In an experiment done with monkeys, small follicles, which are very small fluid-filled sacs that contain an immature egg found in the female's ovary, were taken to Cairo Preserve in liquid nitrogen. Chiropreservation is preserving reproductive organs such as eggs, ovarian tissues, or sperm by freezing with very low temperatures and storing them in liquid nitrogen. When needed or ready, they can be thawed out to help save endangered species of non-human primates or other mammals through in vitro fertilization. In vitro fertilization is when an egg is fertilized outside of the body or animal. Dr. Allison Ting, who is a scientist at the Oregon Primate Center, developed a way to chiropreserve monkey ovarian tissue and recently shared her method with researchers at the Panda Preservation Center in China. However, it hasn't been attempted in female pandas just yet. Another way to preserve endangered species is to remove follicles from the ovary and grow them in an alginate hydrogel in an incubator to obtain a mature egg that can be then fertilized in vitro to make an embryo. They were able to do this with mice and watch these small mouse follicles grow inside the alginate just as they would in the ovary inside the body. These eggs were fertilized and the embryos were placed back inside a surrogate mother and baby mice were born. These two methods of preserving follicles are still in their early stages of research and much data hasn't been obtained yet but this technology may be able to help the endangered panda population. Alginate solution can also be used as band-aids. When alginate solution is combined with calcium ions to make a gel, it can be freeze-dried into porous sheets like foam. These alginate dressings are able to absorb any fluids from the wound and gels can supply water if the area affected is dry. This can help keep the wound moist but also minimize the possibility of a bacterial infection at the side of the wound. Gel beads are a really fun and easy experiment to do while holding a lot of importance in the medical and science research fields. If you're interested to see any other science projects that SMILE has put together or just to see what we've been up to, please come visit us at smile.oregonstate.edu. Thank you. Why you? <laughs> oh my! God. Um, food putty.
but how wait it's like this chain right here what happened please visit us at smile.organstate.edu oh those are buttons okay <laughs> that was we're never gonna get this <laughs>